Hello there, welcome back to Crusader Kings. Last time, well, we uh, were attacked by uh, Mercia, and, uh, well, they probably regret that, because we hired some mercs, we destroyed their army, and currently we're doing a really good job of uh, basically just doing some, uh, well, all-around conquests. We have been taking or going after this guy or these guys quite often, and uh, that's basically how we're going to continue. We definitely want King Hernam here to just, uh, well, die, because uh, we definitely want the alliances to break, for instance. And uh, we can also go for a conquest of Norfolk here if we really want to. Our armies are basically full, so there's no reason for us not to do that, I think. should be uh, It should be perfectly reasonable that we go for the conquest, but uh, I think we'll just wait. Just use the mercenary army for all it's worth while we have it. Because again, I did hire it for the war against Mercia. And uh, currently we are doing a uh, a fairly good job. Now I didn't really want to have war for the duchy in case I got the entire the entire duchy more or less. And the reason is uh, excuse me. And the reason is really really simple. If I have gotten the entire duchy, I would have had to spend quite a lot of time just messing about trying to. Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, spend a lot of time just trying to convert the promises and etc so that would not be good this is my third son to die fourth actually four of my sons the f four eldest of my sons have all died severe stress executed by another chief died of stress died of great pox so uh, yeah hmm <clears throat> not the best things either all things considered so family wise how we're looking we have seven living members which is interesting we have Antonius here and uh, two granddaughters, which I can't really do much with, which is of course an issue. I definitely need to get uh, get some children here if I am to uh, be able to survive. So I guess we'll just hand the promise that we currently got for the death, the full promise that we got. Dover, Surrey, Ipswich, Arendelle. <coughs> We're just going to hand them over to uh, people who are of my religion, my culture, not a ruler, and of course, uh, men, because that is basically how we are going to have to deal with this. And again, it's not the best thing ever, especially, I would have preferred it if my dynasty would actually grow, but so far it haven't really done that, it's just going, uh, <coughs> it's just been going in the opposite direction, which is of course uh, a very bad thing. But there we go, and I've handed everything over to single vassals, and again, yeah, the, again, the vassal limit is starting to become a minor issue. Especially since I do have so many vassals that it's starting to become, as I said, an issue. And of course my king is living forever, which is really, really wonderful. I have a three-year-old now as heir. So uh, trouble-wise, it <coughs> it's probably going to be some trouble here, no matter how we do. Which is, uh, again, not the best thing ever. If I want to kill my own kid here, I'll get the 432 possible plot power. So, uh, yeah. Vikings. We actually have raiders in our counties too now, so we might as well just murder them for good measure. But there we go, we won that siege again. Let's just destroy these troops, or destroy the raiders first and foremost. Because <coughs> they are really annoying, and uh, destroying them is kind of helpful. So there we go, Mercy has gotten themselves a lesson. And I'll just allow the sieges to continue and hopefully get some more kids before we end up in, well, a very bad situation. We'll see how it uh, pans out. Well, we are still hunting the white stag, but during your hunt, you come across a deep gorge. Right on the other side is the white stag, staring at you. You are so close, yet cannot reach it. As it runs away, you realize that you must return home without a victory this time. Basically, I figured out it, it exists. That is about the, uh, the level of information I currently have attained. For now, however, we'll just continue with what we have been doing. Well, I didn't actually realize, but since I'm actually pagan, I can't take concubines. So, why don't we just start doing that? That should actually be uh, rather helpful. Unfortunately, I don't really have anyone else here who could be useful. So, I'll have to figure out or figure a way to find uh, concubines other way. So, let's see if I can actually find someone by doing this, for instance. There we go. And I believe I can have three of them, so we'll just fire up. Boom. Have my, uh, my three conquers, if you will. And uh, that should, in theory, be helpful in terms of getting more children, hopefully. So for the time being, I'll allow the sieges to continue, and uh, we'll see what we end up with here. I'm still a bit unsure what I want to do in terms of uh, taking up here, trade, 
wouldn't really be helpful for me at least. Construction could definitely be useful, build things faster. But uh, I think we'll invest in basically just uh, improved keeps and uh, also castle infrastructure because that is what we will be focusing on. And I guess we'll invest just five points to get that heavy infantry point. And we'll continue with investing in military organizations so I can actually get a retinue that could of course be uh, be useful. So I'll just wait for sieges to uh, to finish and then I'll get back to you. I think I'll be able to catch the Mercian army right now. It shouldn't be difficult at least. And we managed to catch one. We also get a uh, child here from a concubine hopefully. So I think we're actually just going to declare war here in Norfolk. They do have some allies though. The Pet King of Cornwall. Uh, Chief of Ulaid and Chief of Sildara. But I think we can just go uh, well very easily here and just declare war in Norfolk. Just allow time to pass for Mercia. See if they uh, rise up in revolt. Since, well, things are not going too well for instance. Uh, it could happen, and I'm hoping for that, but we'll have to just wait and see. It's my own failure, as usual. But, uh, again, yeah, the goal is just basically to beat Mercia uh, over time, more so than anything else. So that should be fairly easily. We'll also go ahead here and hunt down that army, that 900-man army that's currently running away. And, again, that should give me some war score in the matter. There we go, a little bit. And I'm a little bit sure, though, but did I catch... Well, I did catch a mayor, so I'll be a little bit paid for that. Which is wonderful. Uh, seriously? We have two enemy armies here that are actually sieging together. Now that's a new one. But we will at least take the conquest of Oxford and just end that. There we go. Oxford is now mine. And we'll hand over the uh, holdings, of course, to random people. And I'll give it to, uh, to my son here because, again, it's part of his duchy, if you will. And, uh, well, there's that. I'll just see Norfolk, and if anything interesting happens, I'll uh, tell you, but... Uh, I think we have something interesting happening here. We're going to take Warwick, because we can. Yeah, because we can. That's about the gist of it. So, let's just see Warwick, and I'll be back with you as soon as that is uh, over. Unfortunately, a daughter, so that means that we kind of have a very, very weird and dangerous dynasty. But um, we have she's strong, so that's a positive. And there we go. The sieges are done with the uh, Mercian Rebolter, and we can just enforce the arms. Very easy, very uh, quick, and uh, adds to our provinces. And again, I, I'm pretty sure I'll just hand this over to my uh, child again. The goal is basically to build a uh, well, a rather big uh, duchy here to for him, if you will, just to again keep the vassal count fairly low. But uh, it seems like we'll actually have a problem with Basil Camp. We'll probably have to make it a couple of kings, which of course will be a pain in the arse, but uh, not much we can do about that. For now, we'll just focus on sieging Norfolk. We are basically making the money back through uh, basically uh, things like this people that we catch, for instance. So uh, it's not a big issue per se in terms of. Uh, in terms of financing this uh, mercenary army that's running around, it's actually fairly easy. So, we were lucky enough to actually get a boy here. My uh, my wife managed to give birth to a boy, Vespasian Banks, so that is really, very good. That means that I am kind of safe if, well, death approaches, if you will. So, uh, for now, we'll just keep on going with what we have been doing. I, it's kind of fortunate I didn't realize that, uh, well, I could uh, more or less live forever, as, well, kings to, <laughs> things currently are looking. Uh, but hopefully at least two will actually grow up and have some pretty big family trees of their own. Hopefully. We are still hunting the white uh, stag, we're not giving up on that. Never. And uh, Concubine is pregnant too, which is wonderful. But again, yeah, I'll just wait for the siege here to finish. No white stag this time. I feel that once I actually get the white stag, that is when my guy will die. Uh, due to the witch's potion or something like that. Who knows? Marcellus of Gwent. I could arrest this arsehole. But... Uh, He's incredible at intrigue, so I should probably should, yeah, probably should actually execute him, just for the sake of uh, secure reality, if you will. But there we go. Norwich has been, or Norfolk has been taken, and uh, I'll just go ahead here and actually hand it over to, I think this guy. He's fairly, he's humble, he's temperate, he's greedy though, but uh, otherwise he's not really an issue. So if he creates the uh, the Duchy, that would be great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. And uh, we're just going to continue with this army, going after 
whoever we do not have a truce with consolidate in the lands. That's basically the plan. And uh, we'll just have to see here how that actually works out. But for now, time to declare war, conquest. I actually have Rufinus. Yeah, Rufinus is the son of uh, one of my sons, I believe. No, what? Yeah, he's actually the son of one of my sons. So I do still have two or three children now that I could use. Uh, well, to hand on land to in the future. So that's wonderful. Um, did this guy have any allies that I probably should not have uh, concerned about? Manav, Strathclyde, Ulaid. Not really anything I would be concerned about. So for now, I'll just allow the siege to uh, run its course and uh, do an upgrade here, I think, in legalism. So I can actually, uh, well, do press this one up to medium because that would actually be useful. It will mean me that I can hold my two Domnes size without any problems at all. And I got another son here, luckily enough. So the family is growing still, so that's wonderful. There is unfortunately raiders here that I need to uh, need to deal with. So uh, I'll just go ahead, siege this promise, kill these, and then I'll go murder the raiders if I make it on time, I think. So it will be interesting. Let's see here how we do if we quick siege. Well, we are losing a lot of men, but let's face it, we don't need this army to be particularly huge. That's the that's the benefit here. I should become a mastermind, theological mastermind, I mind you, but uh, mastermind nonetheless. And I think we're just going to go with uh, again dragging people that are high stewardship here. So uh, that works. Matrilinear marriage as well. We claim to uh, Gotland. Which could be interesting, but uh, I think we'll uh, we'll be able to live with this. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to give them a county or the child or something like that. So it's not like it's a major concern. Hopefully, those rebels just leave right now. That would be wonderful. But uh, or the, well, the raiders, if you will. But it does seem like that will be an option. So we'll just murder them once they actually come uh, come visiting, if you will. But uh, I'll allow the siege to finish, and then I'll get back to you. There we go, the sieges are now over, and we can just enforce demands very uh, very simply here. Unfortunately, it seems like my Domnez only went up to 4 for some reason, so that's not the best thing ever, but uh, it helps, that's what counts. And, uh, well, the kids are growing in power. Gunad, you're next. So, might as well just continue the, uh, well, the good trend, if you will. Should be fairly straightforward again, just siege it. Apparently been raided too, so that should make it very easy to siege, which is wonderful. Um, uh, but yeah, we're basically now trying making the map look a little bit prettier. And of course we'll do that in Ireland and North too, as soon as we get there. But uh, I'm a little bit sure, can I actually declare war on Northumbria? No, I can't. I don't have Valkyrie's Bell Eye, so I should probably next time I go to war against these guys, uh, make sure that I can actually get... Uh, the area here, Chester, so I can actually start working on Northumbria as well. And I think I might have to get rid of my uh, my uh, mercenaries soon because there's no good reason to have them anymore. And Iceling will probably live for a very long time. Uh, I have truce until 8 or 4, so I guess having these guys around for a year, no pay or on pay, uh, will probably not be too bad, all things considered. Cornwall has a new uh, duke here, but it's still. Asturias and Francia, so we don't really want to make any, well, sudden moves, if you will. And worst case scenario, I'll just have these guys run uh, run across a siege and uh, and get injured. And since I have to wait until truce with Mercia is up, I'll probably just allow them to siege the entirety of the province to uh, save some money, more or less. So that works too. But uh, yeah, we're still after the white stag. And again here, I, I kind of just need to get... This is basically the problem. If there's a lot of small states around, then it's very easy to... Uh, Britannicus, the one that will actually conquer Britain, I guess. Interestingly enough. Got some extra money. This time it will not escape me. Well, it has every time, so I'll just keep this information to myself. No need to do anything in terms of actions just yet. 20th of October, so yeah, we'll be able to siege everything before that time, I hope. Through the letters scoring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wild. As you knock, a beautiful young woman opens. She pulses, then gives you a warm, inviting look, and says, It's very lonely out here. I wonder if you will stay the night. Of course, for two years, or I really shouldn't. Of course. I get the plus one to diplomacy and plus ten to general opinion, so what's the issue? Next morning, you awake with a warm body next to you. You spend a long, pleasant night in a cabin, but it's time to get back to the world outside. 
Your companion looks you in the eyes, caresses you, and asks you to stay a little bit longer. Well, come back to court with me then. Marcia. Quick, attractive, and an intricate web weaver. Uh, let's face it, no matter how we do here, I think it's time to set concubine aside. We'll set the concubine, as concubine aside, and I'll take her. Marcia of the Wilds, interestingly enough. You have returned to your court, the hunt for this elusive ice beast seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the wilds. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. I won't give up. But yeah, this could actually work quick and attractive. Two very good traits that I can uh, hopefully get some benefits from. If things go well, that is. But uh, sieging. Let's see, I can just do this to make them a little bit cheaper. And there we go. We have taken the county and everything is looking a little bit better in terms of borders and, uh, well, everything, which is wonderful. Time to give this to the kid, and hopefully he'll be happy now. But uh, there is time to plan a war for, against Mercia. It's going to happen very soon. And, uh, well, I see no reason to get rid of the mercenaries. That's how useful they are. And uh, we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, phrase criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.